Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm just going to do a little bit of an intro to this video. Um, ignore how scruffy I look. This is the reality of working from home. Um, I do not care what I look like. Um, so my Voltaire saddle has just turned up. And obviously this video is going to be about the saddle. <laughs> so um, yeah, it has been a bit... I mentioned it's been a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, in the next clip and basically it, it was due to come on Wednesday and um, it just never did and like we called FedEx up and they said oh we don't know why it hasn't turned up it hasn't been scanned since Monday and it's supposed to be scanned every day so that sent kind of a bells ringing um, but uh, Basically, the next morning I got an update saying it had uh, turned up at Dartford Customs because it's coming from France. So, and for some reason, they put it on the economy delivery service. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of money. You know, you could bump it up to first class, but whatever, it's here now, and that's all that matters. Um, so, it's taken an extra two days than I thought it would, but. It's here and I'm just going to be showing it to you guys and reviewing it. I'm going to ride later so hopefully some footage will be in uh, this video as well. So yay, see ya! <laughs> okay so my Voltaire saddles just turned up um, after a bit of kerfuffle that it was supposed to turn up on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, it was just a bit of a mess, but it's finally turned up. Jules is interested, so let's just open it. in this pure white one every day. I think that'll probably be a competition one. Um, so it's like a little bag. I think this is going to have the clean stuff in it. Yeah, so it comes with glycerin soap and some fever and leather balsam. So, oh, it's gone. I was gonna snap it. And then it's just bag, it's got like a little handle thing. This is a very odd looking bag. Okay. And then here we go. Has like a new car smell. <laughs> I know. It's gorgeous. And we've got little Swarovski crystals here just on the one side. So pretty. Um, of course I couldn't have 
followed by sights, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, it's all in brown. Um, so, yeah, I can't believe it's finally here. Is Caitlin happy? Obviously. And then we also obviously got the, the saddle cover, so that's waterproof and it's got like a nice fleecy on it. And Nick is going to live in this, otherwise these guys will probably scratch it all up and stuff. And we don't want that to be very expensive. You know, it's expensive as it is, it is. I just love how Fenix in the background is like, he oh, doesn't he, care. He doesn't care. <laughs> you like to know about everything that's happening, don't you? You do. You do. So, oh, standing on everything now. So I'm going to take this up later because it needs to be broken in. I don't know how long it's going to take to break in. We'll find out. But I mean, it's pretty soft, so I don't think it will take very long. So I'll take it up later, have a little ride in it. Um, obviously put my stirrups on. I've got my old pair of black flex ones that I'm gonna use. And see how she goes. Hopefully she still feels like she did when I first tried the dress I've saddle on in June. It's taken this long. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've just come up to the yard and I've got my saddle out. I borrowed a numna because I decided not to use the white one because it will get mucky and I'm going to use it with competition. So yeah, I just borrowed that one. So it's not going to look like as snazzy, but you know, it'll do to just test it out. So I'm going to put this on now. <laughs> oh, it's so light to swing up. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly cleared it. <laughs> Launched it over the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> and it looks like it fits oh. like a glove. It looks like it does. It just flops right on there. Lovely. <laughs> it looks so nice. Weird. <laughs> you literally fit so like. <laughs> like the back of it is just, it's just so nice. I like it, my mirrors. <laughs> she looks so happy about this. <laughs> it has one stirrup on. These will need breaking in there, a little bit stiff. <laughs> I can't wait to see some dress art. Uh. I'm just tucking your things in because they look ugly. <laughs> It's like, hey.
So yeah, so much ranching. It looks like you could actually go a bit longer. She looks it to be fair. She looks really forward and happy to go forward. <laughs> Definitely not used to it. Jeez. She looks <laughs> mega though. going to be a case of me just getting used to riding like this. Um, I mean it, it's, it's not hard but you just need to remember to like sit back. I don't know it's weird. <laughs> and just obviously I'm not used to riding this one. But apart from that it's super comfy and she instantly feels like she's so much uphill in front which she's normally quite Word, on the forehand. She's normally quite on the forehand so to feel her nice and up in front is lovely and she was like this as soon as we tried it on when um, the rep came out in June. I instantly felt a difference so onwards and upwards from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Try just when she starts running on the forehand, widen your hands slightly. I mean, it's a beautiful trot. <laughs> Yeah, it's like she almost is about to, but she doesn't quite do it. <laughs> I can't do the <laughs> You can, just leave. When you do it, now around the next corner, sit around the corners and then really drive your seat down and widen your hands and like push her forward with your seat. What, yeah. That's it, now drive, kick, 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 go, 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 <laughs> almost, there, go, 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 yes, a bit more, oh, yes, oh, so close, that was the closest you've come. <laughs> hey so it's been five days since i um received my saddle which is cool and i've ridden in it three times and i thought i'd give it a bit of a clean because i'm gonna i promised myself i would try and clean it once a week but i'm <laughs> i'm really bad at um cleaning my tack my jump saddle at the back there I can't remember the last time I cleaned it so <laughs> but we're gonna try because this is very expensive and I just need to look after it so I have my jug of warm water I have two sponges I'm gonna get some proper tack cleaning sponges whenever I go to the feed shop next and I've got my bag of cleaning stuff that they sent me. I mean, I'm super scared to clean it. You know, just in case anything, you know, gets discoloured or anything. But, you know, it's their fault because it's their cleaning stuff. So, just move this on. Okay. I'm going to clean the gas first. See, it's already got like a little bit of discoloration on there. I like this was covered in sweat, but I just brushed it off with like a normal bristle brush and it's come out quite nicely. So I don't really know how I'm supposed to clean this anyway because it's like a suede, suede new book material. But right, let's give this a go. So what we I'm assuming we start off with the with the soap and it just says apply soap with a humid sponge rubbing gently until no trace of soap is left. Seems easy enough I guess. So this is what it looks like. It's just like it's got like bubbles on top.
So what we're going to do now, because this looks like it's dried off, that it's come up really nicely. All of those marks have gone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the balsam on it. <clears throat> so this just says, there we go. It just says, the craftsman made balsam softens, nurtures and protects the leather. Apply balsam generously onto the leather with a sponge, a cloth or your hand. I'm not going to be using my hand. This is what it looks like. And it just smells of like beeswax. It's quite nice actually. up of me. Ignore the mucky floor. <laughs> okay. You see it comes out really shiny. Okay, so just while this dries in the background, I'm just going to kind of give an overview of my thoughts. Um, because obviously it's been here five days, a week on Friday, and I've written in it three times. And I just want to give you my thoughts. So basically, they said it won't be broken in uh, until about like the tenth ride or so. So I've got a little bit to go. But so far... The change has just been incredible. Like in the way Carrie goes, she she just doesn't feel restricted at all. Like I've never felt her feel more free. Like the other day, I think it was my second time riding her. I just asked for like a little bit more in the trot, not necessarily speed up, but just a, just a little bit more. And she just like suddenly just went like this, just suddenly opened. And I've never felt that from her before. So I called my friend to come over and um, record me and I'll insert a clip somewhere. And like we were just on the verge of like, well, I don't, I don't know if it was a medium trot, but it's definitely like an extension for Carrie. Like she's never wanted to extend for me like that before. And it just felt amazing. Uh, like I said, I've just never felt anything like that before. And she just feels so open and free and energetic, like nothing's holding her back. And obviously the way I'm sitting in the saddle is a lot nicer for her because I have a tendency to kind of like hunch my shoulders over in the jump saddle, which I think a lot of people do, but we're working on it anyway. And obviously I'm riding longer so I can actually get my leg rounder. And it was just, yeah, I, I think I'm thoroughly impressed so far. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, I'm glad I waited this long for it because I ordered it in June. So, and we have our first dressage competition booked in for not this weekend, next weekend on the 24th, at a local equestrian centre. And I'm only going to do the prelim 12 because I don't think I'm ready for novice yet, even though we probably could, but I think I need a lesson or two before then. So we're going to do the prelim 12, which we've done many a time before. And I'm, I'm really interested to see if just changing the saddle, getting a, a more appropriate saddle 
actually just increases our scores because obviously she's feeling more open and she can um, track up a lot easier. So we'll see. I mean, our average is about 65 to 67% roughly. Um, on a good day, it can be a little bit more, but so it'll be interesting to see. So yeah, that's the kind of lowdown so far. Um, I will give another, um, I think I'll give another thought on the saddle after the competition, but that'll come up on like another post, I think. I hope you have enjoyed my Voltaire Adelaide dressage saddle unboxing, testing and review type video. It's the kind of like first, first kind of video like this I've done. So yeah, if you have any questions about the saddle, just kind of let me know down below or head on over to my Instagram and any kind of question I'll try and answer truthfully and honestly for you. So, so all I can say is that I highly recommend the Voltaire dressage saddle. Very expensive, but I think it's, it's well worth it. Going off how Carrie has changed so far, I, I couldn't have asked for more. So I will keep you updated on how we get on with it and my dressage competition next week. Ooh, I'm actually really excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited about dressage before. Oh well, hopefully it stays like this because <laughs> I've got to get my money's worth now. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.